Hi everybody, it is Thursday, October 13th. Um, I'm sitting down in the den. I wanted to come down and just hang out with the boys. They were acting so excited. Here they are. Mark chair though. Rosano. Oh, little twitches. Hey, baby boy. That's my boy. How's this big puppy? How's this big boy? Yeah, what? What? He's such a good boy. Okay, you guys relax. <laughs> um, I had the best time last night. Um, we did the book signing uh, at the uh, library in South Pasadena. It's a beautiful, beautiful old building. And like I've said before, I went there and I saw Van Dyke Parks perform. Um, they did a, a, a presentation of the movie about Gene Clark's life. Um, a whole bunch of different events. They do a lot of really beautiful cultural things in the library. Um, so uh, they decided to uh, lower the bar and bring me in. Uh, it was, it was really great though. The place was packed. I was really overjoyed with that. I think there was a, a little over 150 people packed into the room. And uh, they, they set it up where um, my friend Blue, who I did the book with, Blue Tremarchi, um, introduced me. And then we talked for a little while. Um, I did a just blabbed on and blabbed on and on and on. And we had a, a nice Q&A and Denny Tedesco came and we ran the sizzle reel for the immediate family movie. Talked about that. Uh, I love Denny. He did such a fabulous job on this movie. So he gave them lots of inside information about that. And uh, then we, uh, I set up at a table in the back and, and, and sold a whole pile of books, signed them all, and uh, I think people were gathering up for Christmas, you know, a perfect Christmas gift for people you either love or you hate. I mean, it works both ways. But um, it, was, it was really a nice evening. It was actually kind of the first real um, official book signing for me. We did a book signing with Peter Asher and Kate Taylor, when we were back east on on the tour, it was you know, last year. I don't know how the hell long ago. I mean, time is really disappearing in in a bizarre way. Um, but it was at a lovely bookstore back uh, on the east coast, and that was that was a lot of fun. But we know we we were going back and forth with three of us talking about our projects, and uh, and then I've done two book signings at LA Vintage Gear, but it was COVID time. We couldn't go in the store. We really couldn't do anything other than set a table up out on the sidewalk and people came and just got books. So last night was really kind of a really delightful evening of being able to sit and talk to a crowd. I, you know, I looked down in the crowd and I was so thrilled. Alfonso Johnson was there, who's absolutely one of my favorite bassists and one of my favorite human beings. So we got a little chance to hang. I saw old neighbors of mine who had moved away and came back for this. I hadn't seen them in years. One of them, I was talking to them, and when they moved there, they had little little kids, little kids. And I said, so how are the kids? And they go, they're in their 30s. <laughs> I was just almost passed out. But I don't need to pass out again. That's over with. Um, what time is it now? I don't even know what time it is, but uh, I'll be heading over to the doctors pretty soon to uh, get my stitches out. I'm so ready for that. This area around this eye is really just driving me crazy because there's little pieces of stitching out that are just kind of an irritant and I want to get the stuff that's left inside my mouth out of there so I can heal up in there a little bit better. Um, but I just want to thank everybody who came out last night. Um, it, it, was it was really interesting. Uh, as the line first formed, one of the... Uh, very first people who came up, uh, I signed his book and we started talking and and uh, he uh, reminded me that he was the Pac Bell guy. And he said, sign to the Pac Bell guy. He was the guy I was talking to when I passed out. So we, we reminisced about that moment a little bit. He was happy to see me viable and functional and ambulatory. 
Um, but just a, 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 a bunch of people from the clubhouse with Rick Converse and Walter Little and Gina and Toby and just a whole bunch of folks came down there and they're always so, it's so great to see them and they're always so supportive of everything. And uh, David Gabb came down, was, you know, he wanted to help um, move, move books. He's, I've got some video stuff up and recordings on, on uh, Facebook with him and uh, just a, a real variety of people. But I, my favorite part of doing these things is always the Q&A. I love when people ask questions and it makes me kind of reflect on things. Otherwise, I'm just sort of blathering away um, kind of aimlessly, you know. But uh, once they give a question, then, then I can get, you know, focused at that point. So um, I took, I, you know, I didn't sell everything I brought over. So I, I went back to the warehouse this morning and dropped off uh, the boxes that were left. And I had, while I was over there, then I got orders for some more. So I, I filled those and went to the, ran over to the post office and dropped those. And somebody ordered one of my art prints and uh, we got, we got that printed and, uh, and packed. So I was able to send that off. And, um, but more than anything, I think the rest of the day is really just going to be getting the stitches out and kind of taking care of myself. Just took a, drank a big bottle of water and, and mixed in two emergencies into it. Um, I'm going to try to stay as on top of all this as I possibly can and not let myself get dehydrated and worn out again. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop. It just means I'm going to take care, better care of myself when doing it, which I recommend for everybody coming from practical observation, having, having been as dumb as I was and messed myself up a week ago. Um, but the boys are excited, as you can see, when they know I'm going to be talking to you. They, they get completely crazy and wired, and that's them completely crazy and wired. I'm so jealous of being able to relax like that. I've known a few musicians like that. You know, you get on a bus or on a plane or something, they just curl up and they go to sleep. And I'm sitting there going eight hours, 12 hours later, I'm sitting there going, I'm still not tired and they're still sawn logs. So uh, I, I, I just look at the boys with envy. They have uh, very little to uh, be concerned with. They'll go out in the backyard in a little while, take them out and they'll do their business and then they'll come back in, bam, right back on the couch again. So uh, I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day. Um, tomorrow, uh, I'll, I'll get back to some music. I just, I'm kind of just uh, relaxing a little bit from, from the excitement from last night. But I really enjoyed it, and I thank everybody. And again, Saturday is the one-on-one -on -one FaceTime and Skypes. The day's filling up pretty good, um, but there's still slots in it. So any of the clubhouse members that want to jump back in again, I'll, I'll be there all day. Um, so for the moment, have a fabulous day. I'm going to sign off and uh, take care of some things here. And, uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.